actually um there's this interesting story about a vietnamese jet setter just tying in coronavirus uh a Vietnamese jet setter with coronavirus, a guest of a top, uh, a guest of top fashion shows in Melbourne, Paris. Wealthy 27-year-old attended uh, Gucci Saint Laurent catwalk shows before testing positive for coronavirus upon a return to Vietnam. Hundreds of people attended each of the shows, and fashion editors and buyers who returned from Milan and Paris have gone into self-quarantine. So again, they all probably was in the same venue as her. They might have shared a drink. They might have shared a handshake. It's just. It's absolutely nutty, isn't it, that somebody... But again, I have sympathy for the girl because maybe she didn't know she had it, but the carelessness and the recklessness to actually go out there knowing what's happening, uh, maybe she thought because she's a, you know, an affluent young lady, she lives away from the slums, maybe that's why she didn't think that she had the contact of the virus, but the amount of people that she put into jeopardy just for going to a fashion show is really, really bad. Um, and I think she deleted her Instagram too, so they might show that might be an indication of some level of guilt because... If she didn't, if she was honestly an honest mistake, and you just not his mistake, if it was honestly an oversight, then I don't necessarily see the point of deleting your Instagram, right? Because you just went, you didn't know you had the virus. But I think deletion of Instagram it might be an indication of guilt in some respects. Anyway, this is an article from South China Morning Post. It says the following: A wealthy Japanese, sorry, a wealthy Vietnamese uh, jet setter who tested positive for coronavirus after a trip to Europe attended luxury catwalk shows at Fashion Weeks in Milan and Paris. Among the events. Uh, Ga Gunyun is it? Uh, is it Nga Nugunyun or is it Ga Guyun? I wonder if the N is silent. Anyway, uh, twenty-seven is known to have attended um, were fashion shows by Saint Laurent and Gucci in Milan. She documented her attendance on, at the Fashion Week shows, including the two shows on her now deleted Instagram account. According to Vietnamese media, the girl trotting Ga, who is based between Vietnam and London, is the daughter of a steel magnate. Uh, Ga visited uh, Europe with her sister. Uh, Hong Nyung, uh, 26, who also tested positive for coronavirus. Paris Fashion Week attracts thousands of visitors from all over the world to the French capital, but the Saint, Milan, the Saint Laurent show would have sex guest list, which approximately which normally capped about a thousand people. Jesus Christ! Uh, top Milan fashion editors and department store buyers who attended the Paris and Fashion Weeks are still in self-imposed quarantine after returning to their home countries. It's mad though because I know a lot of um, fashion companies are still running an extremely tight ship and not allowing their staff to work from home they still request them to come in like fashion is one of the last places where they can still crack that whip like that and people are not going to uprise and and protest and hoot and holler because you know if you kick up a fuss in the fashion company that you want to work from home and you don't think it's safe they're going to replace you in an instant they just, all they got to do is put out a tweet about wanting a new account manager or wanting a new uh, assistant or wanting a new PR director, social media manager, and you're out of a job in a, in a flash. Do you know what I mean? So no one's wanting to risk it. So the fashion companies are taking a piss of it and just still requiring people to come into work, especially in places where there are um, cases of the coronavirus spreading like wildfire. They don't give an absolute shit. So that's the that's the kind of sad part about being involved in fashion. The good part is that you get to, you know, you get to be in the fashion week, you get to hang around, you get to, f- you know, get to talk to all your idols, people you look up to. But then the sad part of it is that you know, the company can also demand that you uh, attend the show still. You still come into the office. You have to take meetings. It's absolutely nutty. Anyway, um, da, 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 da. so um, editors from the United States and from Asian countries such as Singapore and Thailand have confirmed that their companies have asked them not to return to the offices after visiting Milan, which is in Lombardy region of Italy. The country with a large number of, of cases outside of the Asia. Oh, wow, they know that. On Sunday, Northern Italy, including Lombardy, was a placed under lockdown to curb the spread of the virus. Wow. Where is England on that list? So, obviously, mainland China, Italy second. So, the, the chances of England being on lockdown is probably quite low because the, there's not a lot of cases. The cases are still in the hundreds, right? We've got 320 here and five deaths, whereas Italy has uh, 463 deaths and 9,172 cases. So, I'm, I'm assuming... Uh, there's still there's there's not going to be a chance that we're going to be in lockdown. I don't think so. France and Spain the same sort of thing. Uh, so continues the case here. Uh, Vietnam has now re- so far reported 29 cases of the coronavirus. The post uh, was not at Milan Fashion Week where the Gucci show took place, but attended the Saint Laurent show held in a very large venue where the guests sat close together. As a res- respiratory disease, the coronavirus is highly trans transmis- transmissible for human contact which is why doctors have advised people to practice uh, social distancing to slow down its spread uh, there's a the girl there looking fabulous of course a blogger during Paris Fashion Week Paris France stopped 
uh, all gatherings for more than 5,000 people, but this had only a small effect on proceedings with some cocktail events and few shows cancelled. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's been a lot of that. I've heard a lot of stories of uh, after parties in Paris and stuff still going on, people still attending them, people having lines and shit, drinking. It's just like, mamma mia, man. The amount of reckless... And again, I, I don't know if because people are just like thinking it's a common cold thing or it's something that's going to pass and it's not a bigger deal, but I don't know, man. I look at this stuff and I don't necessarily see it being something that's going to be rectified soon. I think the the nearest indication that we've got to a solution or to a vaccine, I think they're going to try and find maybe in 2021, right? At the beginning of it. So January next year. So yeah, not a good time at all. And not a good time for my hay fever either. Having hay fever, having allergies now during this coronavirus isn't a good thing because the moment I sneeze, the moment I cough, people look at me like, ah! Do you know what I mean? It's, <laughs> so I have to be careful as well to not touch people or go near anyone because they're going to be worried. 